hello friends in this video we're gonna see how you can do the append csv we already did uh, read csv write csv previously in my uh, playlist so if you if you want to know them please do search um, that is one of the first videos i made in this channel something like uh, read uh, csv write to excel so those kind of things we already did so we are going to implement this append csv so here I'll show you my already existing file. This is a file that we already have. So some data is there. Then we'll try to run this bot. Then we'll see uh, how the data is getting added. Okay. Then we'll see how we can implement those kind of scenarios uh, directly. So we have completed the execution. Now you can see uh, we can see that data is getting added here. So like that we can do this append CSV. So let's go and implement this. So yeah, before getting uh, before implementing, let me introduce myself. I'm Karthik. Usually I upload a video three times a week. This on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. Chalo, append CSV underscore one. So uh, where this append CSV is? there okay this append csv is here uh, uh, let me show you here app integration csv here inside this you will get csv related activities like read csv write csv and append csv okay so let me pull this one so it is asking for file file path as well as data table okay so if this file is not existing then it will create a uh, file by itself okay and it is asking for data table so uh, we need to create a data table if we don't have or else if you are using something like excel sheet or some data tab some database related queries where output of that particular uh, activity is a data table then you can directly use that in this scenario we don't have that so what I am going to use here is I am going to use build data table activity. This will build a data table. Okay. We click on this data table, then you need to create a column names for that. Okay. So let me create this column name as name. And uh, yeah, let me create it as name last last name. And something like um, here ID. Okay. So uh, let me give some values. Traffic. Baby. One, two, three. Okay. So we got that value here. I'm trying to create a new file here. So for that, what I'll do here is I'll just mention the path and I'll keep it as CSV2 since we already have CSS1. Okay and output of this data table is let me create it as dt1 okay so build data table will create a data table and that will be used here okay with csv so for our reference let me pull message box at the end just to mention like whether it is created successfully or not okay so let me create it as done let's read this let me execute that now you could see it is done that means the file got created here now you can see the file got created okay so let me execute the same thing now this is the second time we are running it so let's see the data how it is coming okay for the first time we could see first row second time we could see second row now you can see two okay first one is for the first row. Uh, first one time execution second time is for the second time execution okay let me create another data table and try to append that here okay so build data table and try to create a new data table here uh, let me create it with a single name okay uh, so name it as name uh, something like ui path cool and me create this as dt2 right then use append data table activity sorry append to csv activity append to csv activity here and 
uh, find the same file that we have so it will be here and the data table should be dt2 isn't it so i need to create it i forgot to yeah i have created right so it should be there here okay it should be inside okay dt2 yeah cool so let me execute this why i am doing it first to first will data table will have one structure where your second data table will have another data structure i want to see how the output of the file will be coming so let me open that particular sheet and see how the data is coming I'm opening with a notepad here and you can see the data is coming like this so that's good do try it to your home and let me know if you have any doubt in the comment section and also please do explore other videos in my playlist i have created close to 70 hours scenarios till now do subscribe to my channel thanks for watching